Uh, yeah, that's ticking over. Hello. Let me just plug this in. There we go. <coughs> I'm Katana, the lightning cat. And today, well, this particular vlog video thingy is brought to you by me thinking about Red Dwarf. Also, I just woke up. <laughs> now, what I was thinking about was the Future Echoes episode, along with uh, a couple of other episodes. Uh, Epideme, or however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> I just call it Epideme. Uh, well, what's the other episode? The one where they find the lost um, microbots from Crichton and he coaxes them through some rather unorthodox negotiation tactics to rebuild Red Dwarf along with Mr. Lister's arm. What I would like to propose is the, uh, the idea, the hypothesis, the theory that, oh wait, it's, it's also a possibility, that the Future Echoes episode wasn't showing a set in stone, this is going to happen future, but rather a progression of future events that are possible given that snapshot in time, or continuance as I call it, <clears throat> of each character's development and progress, psychologically, emotionally, basically as a living being, and what their most likely probable actions are in the future based on who they are at that moment in continuance. Some of you are going to have to reference some Doctor Who material in order to keep track of all of this. Others, you'll simply get it. But for me, it just works. Now, the only supporting evidence that I can point to throughout the entire series of Red Dwarf to support this hypothesis I am proposing for you to enjoy listening to or think about is quite simply one of Lister's future echoes himself age 102 with a scale male shiny silvery metallic gauntlet or prosthesis. Now it's, it's probable that it was a prosthesis because he lost his arm as it happened in the Epideme episode. However, that snapshot was set up to be a, only a probability in my idea here as they found Crichton's nanobots that then repaired his arm. Now if it was a prosthesis, a replacement for him losing a limb, then that future echo has become a redundant possibility within the branching flow of continuance or the timeline and it runs parallel to the stream of events that we witness in the series. Well, that's it, really. That's the only evidence I have to go on. You know, and unless someone can present that it was a gauntlet instead of a prosthesis. Now, if it was a 
if it was a gauntlet, just something he was wearing over his hand, then it's quite probable that that leads to him <laughs> contributing to, in conjunction with the nanites, the creation of the Inquisitor. Which is a whole different theory altogether. And to be quite honest, I think I think the Inquisitor is an amalgamation of all of the boys from the dwarf through the nanites creating a copy, if you will, of their psychiatric profiles and their their probable actions based on that you know what fuck that theory for now I've already got one theory out into the open I'll just work on the the theory I have about <laughs> the Inquisitor later so if anyone has any information regarding Lister's future echo whether or not his hand was uh, replaced or he was simply wearing a gauntlet please put it in the comments section for this video and you know give a like if you enjoyed or got anything out of it or dislike if you don't your choice uh, also you know, just go ahead and click subscribe and click the, the little notification widget and hopefully it'll do what it's supposed to do. We're not counting on YouTube to actually make their buttons work, but you know, we're hoping that they will. And check the description of this video for links to throw some monetary fallacy support my way and tell me to shut up, get drunk, and do more dumb shit that you can laugh at. So until next time, fuck off. Woo! I did that in less than ten minutes. <laughs>